Howdy folks, Adam and Jack here. We're gonna talk about digital shaping 3.0 for One Wheel GT. The new Cassiopeia firmware. Basically with Cassiopeia firmware and digital shaping 3.0, everything has been changed, everything has been updated. So there's definitely some carry forward from what we've done in the past, yeah. but there's also some things that have uh, that are different. So let's start off with the the first shaping that everybody would encounter on right. One Wheel GT, which is bay. Bay shaping. First thing that I notice about bay and that you might notice as well is that you hit pushback very quickly. It's a digital shaping setting that I would recommend riding in if you haven't ridden a one wheel before. Uh, if you want to get an understanding of what pushback is, yep. that's a really good way to do it. Super important. Understand, feel that pushback, understand what the board is telling you. Um, that's just meat and potatoes. Uh, one wheel riding, so they a good way to do that. I would say Rome is a solid intermediate digital shaping setting. It's a pretty like Goldilocks, you know, in the, in the middle. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. Uh, it gives you some more headway on top speed. Rome is going to be perfect for people to gain that confidence sure. into going on to the other shapings. Moving on to Flow. Flow is a completely new digital shaping setting. There is no comparison in past digital shaping iterations. Flow, as the name indicates, is a really loose, fluid digital shaping setting. It is designed to feel like riding on water or on powder or snow. Mm -hmm. I would say flow equals fun. Flow gives you that opportunity to really do like tight cutbacks and carves for those that want ultimate carvability and really just like kind of escaping into flow yeah. state in a sense, you know, this is a great shaping to switch to. Highline, laser, give them the spiel. Highline is the closest out of any of the shapings that will relate to what people felt on mission on XR. Yep. You kind of get the, ha the, the, the best of both worlds. You get carvability, but you also get that nice like you feel locked in, it's a little bit tight. I could see a lot of people rocking Highline and that kind of being the golden standard for GT. Elevated is essentially giving you a little bit more clearance on the nose, uh, which will help with going up hills, or even if like a lot of people like riding on pump tracks, Elevated always kind of stands out in that realm. And finally, Apex. Fully, Apex. fully torqued. What I love about Apex is that when you switch into Apex, you comp level, it feels like the board's grabbing you. It's yep. like, <laughs> like, and you have this moment where you're like, who is in charge here? Is it me or is it, or yeah. is it this? <laughs> it's definitely taking all that this one wheel has to offer and just unleashing it. When we talk about how loose or how tight the riding experience is, I think the other thing to understand is that it really depends on where you're riding as well. Yeah. So if you're riding off road and it's really bumpy, you actually might want a slightly looser digital shaping setting. And something not as torquey. And something not as torquey because up until now, one wheels really haven't had the amount of power needed to, to give you that burnout. But with GT, you actually do have that amount of power now. So, um, which is awesome, but it means that you have to know how to use it, right? And if you're in Apex and you're, you know, riding on some rough off-road terrain and you're just kind of spinning your tire, ultimately, like, you might want to switch into Highline or into Flow, and you might be actually a little bit better suited in some of those terrains. So just give them a try. See which one you're feeling. Have fun out there.